Software-defined radios can be a great way to experiment with RF. Let's see how we can use one to track planes by decoding the ADSB packets that they broadcast. These packets include info about their location, altitude, speed and more. Also make sure to subscribe because I'm planning an entire series about plane tracking, different setups and feeding data to sites like Flight Radar 24. Decoding ADSB packets was the very first experiment that I did with my SDR. Let's take a look at the simplest method of doing this. Make sure that you have the drivers installed for your RTL SDR or you can check the card in the top right corner of this video for a quick start guide. First, we need to download Virtual Radar Server. This program will take the received ADSB packets and plot them on a map along with other information about each plane. Next, we will need RTL 1090 by JetVision. This will receive the packets and send them to Virtual Radar Server. Download version 1 and then RTL 1090 scope or version 3. You will also need an antenna made for 1090 MHz. This is a simple ground plane, but the small antenna that comes with most SDRs is okay too. I will also have links in the description with some antenna designs and all the programs used in this video. Here is my little setup with an RTL V3 and the antenna mounted outside. You can try with the antenna inside, but the range will be very small. Start by installing the virtual radar server. Just leave all the options as default and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, make a new folder on your desktop and unzip the two archives you just downloaded from the JetVision site. Also unzip the three DLL files that you will find in the description and replace all files when asked. Now start Virtual Radar Server and go to the Tools tab. Here select Options and then go to Receiver. Open the wizard, select SDR, RTL 1090 and leave everything else as default. The last step is to change the name to RTL 1090 and click OK. Leave Virtual Radar open and now let's start RTL 1090. Open the folder you made earlier and start RTL 1090 Beta 3. Now make sure that your SDR is connected and click on start. You should see the ADSB packet starting to come in, the TCP icon turn green and the signal meter rising. Go back to virtual radar and you should see that RTL 1090 is connected and sending messages. To view the map, just click on the blue link. Here you can see all the planes that are currently being received. You can also see a lot of info on the right and some pictures by clicking on a plane. Hope you liked it and have fun tracking planes in your area. Don't forget to like, subscribe and enable notifications from the bell icon. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. This is Yankee Oscar 9 Lima India Golf, over and out.